Hello everybody, I am Bolt Matrix, and today is May 10th, 2022, and Hasbro dropped a bucket load of news on us, and so did Takara. So, without further ado, let's get into it. First up, we have Masterpiece MP56 Cybertronian Strategist Trailbreaker. He is coming out in December for 21,780 yen, and great, just absolutely great. I love the look of the alt mode. Robot mode looks okay. I'm a little bit concerned about the underside, like the armpit area. But overall, I like it. I do. And I'm probably going to pick this one up. Will I review it? I have no idea. I still have skids in a box from Hobby Link Japan right behind me. And I haven't even opened it up yet. But I've got to admit it looks pretty good. We've got the shoulder weapons. We've got the multi-nozzle thing for the force field we've got effects parts we got left fist different faces yeah it it's hitting all the buttons it really is and i love that alt mode i really do yeah i'm oh man it's so tempting i oh he also comes with a different anime version of a grill a decoration seal and a pair and the parabolic antenna because that's if anybody knows anything about Trailbreaker, it's that scene specifically. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. And I love the I love the fact that they just photoshopped it over the over some trail somewhere. <laughs> In a forest. I love it. Very apropos to the character's name. Continuing with the Trailbreaker, we've got some more pictures of him in stock footage or stock pictures. Extra fist, multi-thing. Antenna, new grill, different heads. Very cool. Again, I, I like it. I, I really like it. I do. Next up, we've got some Takara Tommy pre-orders looking at Legacy Wild Rider, Knockout, Jaxus, Jahaxus, and Blitzwing. These are some of the better pictures we've gotten of Wild Rider. I love the look of the alt, of the bot mode, except that backpack is god-awful. I hate it. But they're, they're kind of a slave to the G1 aesthetic at this point, so what else are they going to do? Which makes me wonder, are they going to do the same thing for Breakdown? I really do wonder. But I love the alt mode. I think the alt mode is absolutely perfect. I, I can't think of anything else better. Then we've got Knockout, who, as many people corrected me, is in fact a, a retool slash remold of Jazz from Earthrise. Was it, was it Earthrise? Studio Series. I'm sorry, not Earthrise. Studio Series. Eh, it's fine. He comes with his spear. J Jahaxis. It's that alt mode. The robot mode, absolutely perfect. I have no complaints about the robot mode. I do not like that vehicle mode, but I think that's what he looked like in the comic. So I can't really complain all that much. And then we have Blitzwing, who still, who still looks silly in both alt modes, but... Eh, what are you gonna do? Almost done for the day, folks, so stick with me. We got two more news topics. The first is Studio Series Deluxe 86 RC, DOTM Bumblebee, and ROTF Sideways. So, RC. RC comes with new ankles, new swivels, and a redone. The figure's effectively redone. I hope they gave her some wrist swivels. I don't think they did, but I hope they do. And it looks like there are some upgrades to the figure. Different legs, different feet, different ankles, different backpack. That backpack looks like it transforms differently than what we got in Earthrise. So, uh, I'm going to pick this one up. Please don't, please don't burn me again, RC. You, you were a terrible figure in that last line. Please be a decent figure this time. We got Bumblebee. I just don't care. I don't care about Bumblebee anymore. We've had almost 20 years of this guy, and all the figures are kind of the same, or roughly, roughly speaking. But what I do care about is sideways, and I do... The, the robot mode is growing on me quite a bit. I didn't realize that the chest, or the sides of the chest, the pecs could flip up at the collarbone. That is a nice touch. And... The robot mode has grown on me quite a bit. I still think this is a heavy retool of Barricade, but I don't have proof of that. I still think it is, though. 
it looks pretty good. It it legitimately looks pretty good, except for that weapon storage on the back. That's so dumb. That's the only negative I have about it right now. All right, and the final bit of news and the biggest news of the day is the new Wreck and Rule set has been revealed, and that is Leadfoot and Master Dominus. Nice. So Leadfoot is a retool of Sie Siege? Earthrise? Don't know. Uh, Leadfoot is Mirage. It's based off of the Mirage figure, and it looks very cool. I, I like this a lot. Now, G2 Lead, Leadfoot was from Generation 2, and, oh, shoot, was it a... It was the one that came with the little thing that you could spin up and shoot, a, like, a little disc off of. Hold on, let me pull up a picture. So here he is, Leadfoot, Autobot, Generations 2, also known as Hotfoot in other markets. It had a rotoprop weapon that you could spin... And then it would shoot off part of the Robo Force. And then here is the toy. I never had this figure when I was a kid. I don't even remember seeing this one in stores. I do remember I did have Manta Ray the boat and I had the plane, the Decepticon plane. I did not have the helicopter and I didn't have this one. And I didn't think this one was very cool because it looked like it had a super simple transformation. But could be my loss on that one. Either way, nice nod. Very nice nod, Hasbro. And then Master Dominus is based off the uh, Ractonite mold and it transforms into a giant mammoth. That is so cool. Oh, that is so cool. I love that so much. Yes, please, give me... Give me both of these. All right, I've, I've pre-ordered these guys. These I'm really interested in. Not so much Impactor and Spindle, but these other two, yes. Now, what are the other three going to be? No idea at this point. Absolutely no idea, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be repaints. We'll, we'll find out hopefully soon. But if you have the Hasbro Pulse app installed on your phone and you're logged in, You'll get an alert on your phone. That's how I found out about these so quickly, and I was able to get them pre-ordered ASAP because it alerted on my phone. I was like, wait, what's this? And then I opened up the app, and I'm like, oh, heck yes, I'm going to pre-order these. So that's how I found out about these super quickly. So, yeah, these are, these are definitely on my short list of things I want to own. All right, folks, that's it for today, May 10th, 2022. Thank you so much for watching. Look at this guy. Look at him. He's so gnarly. He's got a mammoth skull hanging off his head, if I could point in the right direction. Or hanging off his shoulder. Point fingers. Come on. There we go. Yeah. I want it. I want it bad. Give it to me, Hasbro. Give me, give me, give me. Okay. Let me know what you think of all this down in the comments. Thank you all for watching. I have been Ball Matrix, and maybe I'll see you tomorrow. We'll see what news happens. Bye.